selling my jewelry on QVC from July 17th to July 19th. We have great stuff this time. We are back talking about men, and you started saying, you know, Dr. Fear. Uh, a shorthand equation to know what men really fear, you just have to look at what men really pursue vigorously. If they're very power oriented, they obviously fear powerlessness. Right. If they're very controlling, they obviously fear losing control. I think injury is. Uh, is an important issue, but men throw themselves into football games and boxing matches and things where they're going to get they're going to get all beat up. But but I think the uh, the men, the things that men are compulsive about are the things they're frightened of losing. What about bed? Aren't are men always frightened about performance in bed? I always feel so sorry for men because a woman, thank God, you go ooh 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 ooh, and they don't know. <laughs> it's oh. Thank you, God. Well, you know, I think too much, is, uh, too much is made of sex itself. I think sex is a barometer. If the relationship is a playful and communicative relationship, the sex is going to be good. If there's tension outside of the bed, you're going to see that tension in the bed. What else do men fear? Uh, I found that they fear, everybody said to me at first, they fear the big C word, commitment. But actually, I found they didn't. They, oh. The big C word is not commitment. <laughs> It's children. 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 Men fear children. Again and again, I found people who said, I can handle marriage. I love marriage. The one thing that terrifies me is having children, because I know it's all going to change. I'm going to have to grow up. I'm going to have to earn more money. Yeah. I'm going to have responsibilities. Children. Yeah, that makes sense. I think what women fear is abandonment. I think it's a big A word. You know, if, if you look at it from the other side, is that, you know, we were really, even in our generation, raised to believe that someone would take care of us, that a male would be a nurturer. And I think that's why we have that pressure, again, for that commitment. I think abandonment is really a fear for Shouldn't women. a man... Are there certain roles that men still should strive to fill? That certain roles... I think a woman still, if you have a child, you must be a mother. You must be a mother first, or don't have the child. I think it should be your choice. But if you want the child, you should know you have to mother the child. Shouldn't a man have certain things that we, that we look at and say, he should want to do this, he should want to be, quote, unquote, head of the household, he should well, want I, to be the father figure? I would say that even though we talk about uh, it's obviously good for a household or a young couple together if they're earning roughly 50% of the income of both sharing in that way, but I still, I know that as a young man, I feel as if I have to, uh, I, it might sound Neanderthal, but I feel that I should be earning more, even if I'm not, but somehow it's an inadequacy if I'm not. And I know that's kind of backward, but it's the same kind of acculturation process that I think happens with women being mothers. You, you know, I think... Shit, it's a hard word. Right. <laughs> you know, I think, I think what, we, what I found behind all of these fears, a lot of them, is that men fear showing fear. They're afraid of admitting that they're afraid. Um, I know one of my terrible fears in New York used to be that I was going to get stuck up on the street and that I'd be with my girlfriend or my wife. And if he had a gun, it'd be all right. I could give him my money. Yeah. If he had a knife, well, maybe I'd have to dodge and weave and fight a little bit. But suppose he had nothing. He just said, hey, give me your money. What am I going to do? Pull it out and give it to him? Yeah. I, I look like a coward then. Yeah. And I've talked to a number of men about that, and they said, yeah, you know, I've worried about that too. Yeah. Because, again, uh, it, it's, it's going back to macho, mm -hmm. macho, macho. Mm -hmm. do, um, do men's fears change when they get older? Yeah. I think they become more extreme. I think whatever a man fears when he's 40, if he's into power when he's 40, he's probably going to be even more controlling and more into power when he's older. I think men get, uh, if they don't get some kind of therapy or help, they get more rigid with time. What about women? Same thing with I women? I think the same thing is true. Whatever you see as a young girl, if it's not worked through, I think will increase sure. as, as someone ages. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What about crying? I know this sounds silly, but I, we were just laughing backstage. We were saying... You don't want to walk into a CEO's office and see him sobbing on the desk because he just saw Beauty and the Beast. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, that's so beautiful. Now, back to steel business. I mean, it's like, I mean, where, where, where do men have to hold their emotions? Where does society allow a man to go emotionally now? I think you can cry in a movie. I think that's all right. That's being done. All know? right. I mean, I, I sob in movies, and I don't, I don't try to cover it up anymore. But one of our girls said she had a blind date with a guy. <laughs> And he was sobbing in the movie, and she thought, I'm out of here. She thought... That's why this is the problem. This is what you do. You know, one of the, my uh, friend was in, going to Vietnam. I had a, a friend of mine who's, who said that one thing she regrets from 25 years ago, her boyfriend was going to Vietnam, and he finally, before he went, he admitted to her that he was terrified he was going to be killed. And she said, you know, I felt, I felt less of him, and I couldn't help myself. I yeah. still felt less oh, of but, him. Yeah, but she said she couldn't she said, help she herself. Couldn't help herself. She felt so guilty about it, but she said there was just something there. I had to, you know, See, I, I, I think, would think good for him for knowing. I yeah. think it's the overall package. I know an actor, a very, uh, very macho guy. He cries very easily, 
it doesn't detract at all from his manly appearance oh, at I, all. I agree. It, because he does it, it's a real expression of what he's feeling at the moment. It's actually very attractive. Well, I'm going to pass the Kleenex and then we're going to go to commercial. I thank you all very much. We'll be back in a moment with gossip on Michael Jackson. I thank you all very, very much for being here. Pleasure talking to you. We'll be right back.